I know some pretty big some pretty big Browns fans though. All right, so I actually I have I was just pulling up my my exact <laughs> record prediction because I'm I have a video that I made for for FanDuel. So this is this is how it's going to go. All right, bar for mm. bar, week for week. Now I had this planned out before Burrow's injury. They're going to win week one at home against the Bengals. The Browns are not notorious for winning home openers but mm. this year they will okay this year they will i'm very i'm pretty confident in that they have a lot of rookies in their secondary or a lot of young players in their secondary a lot of new guys in the secondary i think the browns can take advantage a little bit uh, of some guys in, in their first full start um and then depending on if burrow's there but i think even if he is there i think you know their offensive line still isn't great the additions of Zadarius Tomlinson, I think we can get some serious pressure, knock Burrow off his spot a little bit, make some plays. So we win week one. Going to mm-hmm. week two, I, I think Pittsburgh, I think they could come out swinging a little bit this year. Um, I think they're going to be a little bit feisty. I mean, they're always feisty. They're, they always have a winning record. They have TJ Watt back. Could be a tough game, especially if he's matched up against Wills, which I imagine he will be. Minka always starts off the season hot. I could see the Browns losing that game. So we're one and one. Mm. Then we play Tennessee. We're winning that game. All right, moving on. Uh, <laughs> Baltimore, early on in the season, we know how Baltimore is. Um, they're, they're a complete buzzsaw. When Lamar, when Lamar is healthy, when they're playing, they win almost every game. They are ridiculously tough to beat. So even though the Browns are at home, I think they'll lose that game. Mm-hmm. Go into the bye week, come out. We play San Francisco. That's a tough matchup. That's a brutal matchup. I mean, they're maybe the best team in the NFL roster for roster. They stack up with pretty much anyone all across the board. The Browns probably lose that one, even though like I like Cleveland's roster, but I think that it's just such a hard matchup. And I don't like even it doesn't really matter who their quarterback is. Let's be serious. Coming out of that game, though, what what is this win streak I have is going on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Browns get hot, man. And mm. part of it, part of it is we get into a chunk where we play Indianapolis. We play Seattle, which Seattle is good. I like Seattle, but it's like I still don't trust their defensive line. I don't think they can really stop the run. And I don't think like I like Uchenna Nwosu. He's not a tier one edge rusher. Mm. I th- I think we can take care of business o- against their defense. Mm. And their offensive line isn't perfect. I think the Browns could still get some exploitation done there. We play Arizona. It's Arizona. They're going to be the worst team in football. Probably. I right? I mean I'd be yeah. I'd be pretty shocked if they weren't. Then we have Baltimore again. Mm. The Browns will get one. Okay. They're going to get one. I'm going to let me have this. Okay. <laughs> Pittsburgh, we have them at home. I think Browns get that one. I like the Steelers, I think will be feisty. I don't I don't think they're going to go in and start, like sweep the AFC North or anything. They'll play every team tough. They'll win two or three of them, I think. Browns win that one at home. Denver, I think Denver's a little bit slept on right now, but I think the Browns can beat them still. Mm-hmm. And then we have the Rams, who are I mean, they are a mess. Coming out of that game, we have Jacksonville. I think Jacksonville is going to be nice this year. The addition of Ridley, I think, is going to be huge. I look for a big jump from from Trevor. You, you've probably heard Theo talk about how much he loves Trevor Lawrence already. I think he called Desmond Ritter an old Trevor Lawrence. That what? was his comp. I think on the, Stay Hot, that wasn't my word. That was on Stay Hot. Y'all talked about it. You said old Trevor Lawrence is kind of like a, a very old uh, poor man's Trevor Lawrence, I think. I don't remember that. All I remember is... Theo was like, I don't, want, I don't want to say he's perfect, and then, <laughs> and then I chuckled a little bit, and then Matt was like, I don't want to say he's perfect and wonderful, but what other words are there? Yeah. Um, no, I, I mean, mean, he already had maybe like it's gonna be hard for him to top his playoff moment from last year, though. Like what he did yeah. against the Chargers is gonna be hard to top. But but I I think you look at that as like that's the stepping stone of yeah. like we we look at that and we're like okay, okay I see it. 
I see the vision of like you add a premier wide receiver there. I mean, that offense can be completely unlocked. We saw what we always see, like what Diggs did for Allen, yeah. what uh, Chase did for Burrow, what AJ Brown did for Hertz. You add that elite weapon. It completely changes your offense. If I'm the Jags and Doug Peterson, I'm just pissed because part of what I think they're going to run into is the Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen problem and really Joe Burrow now, which is just that like it is so crowded at the top of the AFC Yeah, that the Jags can make this jump and they can be one of the five best teams in football and the four better teams are all in the AFC. Like the Jags, I think right now, like when you look at the NFC and what it looks like as a whole, like would the Jags be right there with the Eagles as the two favorites of the best teams in the NFC? It would be, it would be the Eagles, Niners and, and Jags. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, and they're, I and think, they, they're like, move us East. What do we got to do? Like, move us East. Cowboys can go to the AFC South, like put yeah. us in the, a, in the NFC East or whatever. But yeah, I don't know. I just feel like they're going to run into this problem. It, it, it's a tough conference. And it's just like, it's, there's just a lot of, there's a lot of good quarterbacks going on. So yeah. I mean, Mahomes is not going anywhere. It's just like, how yeah. are you going to get into the Super Bowl? Like, Mahomes isn't going anywhere. Ravens just extended Lamar. Yeah. Burrow's there. Herbert, if their if their defense can get situated, the Chargers are going to be good. It's it, it's a tough it's a tough run. Like, yeah. of quarterbacks, not even just not even just uh like top tier teams. It's just like you're going to need a lot of luck. Like you're yeah. going to be good, but you're going to need you're going. <laughs> I mean, that, to need that's a how luck. it always is, right? Like. Yeah. Uh, I just feel every, like it's different. Every, I've never seen it this lot. lopsided in my lifetime the, in terms of just elite quarterback play in one side of the conference versus the other. I mean, normally it was just like you have two or three good quarterbacks. It was like really yeah. good quarterbacks. It was just like Brady, Manning, Breeze, Rodgers. Yeah. Like, I mean, those were the guys. Now there's just <laughs> so many good ones because right. the league's got, yeah. Well, because mm. every, every, like, everyone got the first overall pick in that. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? I was talking to, <clears throat> excuse me, Bobby Skinner of Talking Giants last night, and he brought up a stat that I could not believe. Do you know who the last number one overall pick to go to the Super Bowl was? Drafted by his team and went to the, the Super Bowl. Who that would have been? And it, the number one overall? Number it's one overall. It's yeah. not Burrow? It's not Burrow. The last number one overall. So who's the number one overall pick after Burrow? That was, that was Lawrence. So then... Who was 2022 number one? Did that what well, that was that was a uh, Walker, wasn't it? Yeah, so Trayvon then, went to yeah, Trayvon went number one 2022. Eli <laughs> Manning. Oh, before Burrow, you yeah, mean. before Burrow, yeah. It okay, was Eli okay. Manning. And then before Eli Manning, who would you guess? <clears throat> I'll give you a hint. What? They're related. <laughs> it was Peyton. I was going to guess Elway or something, but yeah. But that's what I'm saying. So it's actually not often. Like these don't happen very often. When you draft, when you bottom out and you draft number one overall and you take a quarterback, it's actually pretty rare that you yeah. end up making it to the Super Bowl with that. Right. And it's, yeah, it, it is rare. So it's like there's a lot of good quarterbacks and everyone's like, Oh, someone yeah. is not a, that's like, I hate when people are like, well, Allen's not a, Allen's not a playoff winner. And I'm mm. like, who is <laughs> like, like, let's be real here. <laughs> How many playoff winners are there? What also makes me laugh about stuff like One. that when we could like, do you know how awesome it is to have a franchise quarterback in the NFL no. for your team? Like there's nothing better. <laughs> I like I wouldn't, know. You could not face me. My whole thing is like with Tennessee when people are picking at Tennessee's Mickey Mouse offense and I know y'all stay hot, enemies of the pod. You've been enemies of the pod since the Hypo era started here. There are a lot of enemies against our offense that, um, let me check my notes here, led the co led college football in scoring once again. It works. It was, it was I don't... a well-designed offense. It, it's a functional offense, yeah. but the players in it yeah. are, are they're, uh, they're robots, man. They're just like... Well, Look, it works. I all I We're care about is Saturdays with Tennessee. The scheme, man. Yeah, I don't care. It's all we Chess just got another man, and yeah. that's fine. Yeah, like I, I'm I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying kicking the shit out of Kentucky and South Carolina and everybody. It. Like it's a lot of fun. But you don't know draft comes around. Yeah, 
well, hold on. We got five stars coming in. Nico, you're going to love Nico in four years. Like Nico okay. Yamaliava, he's going to be fantastic. He's coming in call, as a call me, Justin. Call me in four years and then we'll, <laughs> and we'll talk about it because I will not be watching this guy for four years to try. The only well, you... guy I've ever done that for is Jalen Hurts. Mm. <laughs> That's it. Well, you might be watching Tennessee, Ohio State in the college football playoff this year. We'll see. That'd be fun. <laughs> That, the two best offenses, the two best offensive masterminds in the sport going back and forth. Be fun. Like Tennessee, many are saying would have beaten Ohio State in the college football playoff last year. Uh, and Hooker I mean, has that I dog. Mean, we al- we yeah. almost beat Georgia. So. You did almost beat Georgia. We did not almost beat Georgia. Like, <laughs> the, the Tennessee Volunteers did not almost no. beat Georgia. No. Um, but yeah, no, the, the last thing I'll say was that the franchise quarterback stuff is like, you just want to be like when you have that. It's just nice. You're like, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, Bills fans, the the Trent Edwards era, the EJ Manuel era. So when you jump on them, you're like, Josh Allen's not this. Josh Allen's like that. If I'm a Bills fan, I'm like, I don't give a shit. I have a perennial MVP candidate every year for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. I have grown up with shit. And we have, like, when you figure that out, the most important position in football, like, let's just play it back every year is a possibility every year you're like hey we could go to the super bowl like that is a bill a bills fans life for the next three to five years maybe longer depending on josh allen's health and how much yeah. he's still running the football and everything else and taking some yeah, they, taking some <laughs> but, hopefully they find yeah. a way to take some take some pressure off his shoulders yeah but like he it's awesome everything. trevor lawrence yeah. if you're a jags fan like i don't care like yeah the afc stack guess what I have Trevor Lawrence, quarterback in right. my team. I get to watch him play quarterback for 17 games a year. Yeah. Minimum. It's awesome. Yeah. It's a fun time. I hope that's it is a fun time. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that, yeah, all that to say, Jags are going to be good. Yeah. And even if they don't win the Super Bowl, they're going to be an exciting team to watch. Um, They've got some feisty guys on defense, can stop the run a little bit. Then we then the Browns play the Bears and the Texans. Like, mm-hmm. I think, I think, you see the Bears getting a little bit better. They still have a lot. They still have a long way to go, I think. Or at least maybe not like a long way to go as far as like guys that they need, but maybe like a year away mm-hmm. from really being like a good, good team. And then Houston is maybe another year away from, they're like a year away from being where the Bears are right now. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll beat them. Then the Browns play the Jets. And the Bengals to end the year. Mm. End of year Bengals, Rogers, Sauce, Garrett Wilson. Like that's a tough. That's a tough stretch of two games to end it. The Elijah Moore revenge game, not happening. No, no, we're losing both those. I think probably. So you think they make the playoffs into this scenario? Probably. Okay. I I lean. Yes, and I think, yeah, I think in this scenario, they end up with the sixth seed. Okay. So. Are you happy with that? Are Browns fans happy with that? I don't know. I haven't posted it yet, so we'll find out if Browns fans are happy with it. It, Again, I think you have to realize that it's like it's a tough AFC. Mm -hmm. It's like it's a tough run of like the Chiefs are probably going to be the one seed. You know, the Bengals and Ravens are both really, really good the Jags are going to be really good. So it's like, if you don't win your division, which like your division on its own is really hard to win. Mm -hmm. Like being a six seed, isn't that bad. (laughs) Like no, sometimes you got to roll with the punches a little bit. Um, Yeah. So I, I, I think it'll be okay. It's like not everyone can, can win their division. It's like Jacksonville has the luxury of, you know, their division isn't as brutal. They will probably win it. They're the best bet to win, go on a division winning streak. Like the Jags, I think of anyone else in the NFL is probably, I would pick to most likely to win their division like five straight years in a row. Yeah, I would probably agree with you. Kansas City probably is, is up there just because yeah. I don't, like until I see the Chargers do it mm-hmm. and like really, like they're always good, but until I see them like, have a good defense and like the offensive play calling's better and like the the receivers stay healthy like until i see it all come together i'm not gonna i'm not really gonna buy into it um and i think chargers fans would understand that like 
how many years did Philip Rivers just like, I mean, they, what is it over the past 20 years or some or 10 years, they have one playoff win. So it's like, I, I don't know the exact number. We were looking at that the other day. It's just like, I, you, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say about that. So it, it'll be a tough go of it. And like the chargers could like this, this could be a world where like the chargers could be really good and mm-hmm. the Browns might miss it. Right. It's like, these these are the teams at the top of the AFC. You have the Chiefs, you have the Jets, you have the Bengals, you have the Jags, you have the Ravens, you have the Dolphins, you have the Browns, you have the Chargers, you have the Bills. That's nine teams, right? I would That's probably not... throw the Broncos as the biggest wild card Sean Payton. Like, what does Sean Payton get out of the Broncos? I mean, he said he'd be pissed if they missed the playoffs. That's what I'm saying. So I, you, I would throw him throw in, ten there. in there. Like, yeah, you, you throw ten, you throw a, and then like. Pittsburgh's never had a losing record with Mike Tomlin. Yeah. What if they sneak in? Like, what if what if Tennessee is healthier this year? Because they were really okay, banged well, up last year. Hey, hey, we we got the double digits though. Like th- we did, yeah. But like that that's a lot of that's a lot of teams that could that could really reasonably be playoff teams. So it's like to be in the top seven of those is tough. It's really tough. Roger Goodell is like the Daffy Duck gif where he's like counting the money, like just dancing yeah. as he's counting with when we're talking <laughs> about this, where it's like just you're going to have 10 to 12 teams just fighting for the playoffs in the AFC like all yeah. year long. Like no, it's just gonna... must see television every week. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going to get we're going to get down to like week 16, 17, 18, mm-hmm. and it's going to be like in the hunt and it's going to be <laughs> six teams and we're going to be like, what are we <laughs> fighting yeah. for two spots? Is That's what it's going to be. Yeah. It's going to be then, absurd. Like, the worst teams are just like three and 13 going into week 17. It's just, there's no <laughs> the middle Raider. ground. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. Yeah. The I remains mean, the of Ra- Marcus Peters will surely save this team. <laughs> <laughs> barely great. healthy, barely passing his physical Jimmy Garoppolo will be, will be the savior that they need. I was hoping the, like not for his health i want him to be healthy but like i was hoping he failed the physical and then just like go, moves to miami and doesn't sign a deal with the dolphins but like just waits out to it like he's on the cap sheet but he just stays healthy and works out and he's just we just know that Jim, we're on jimmy garoppolo watch because he just pops up on social like jimmy's still hanging out like here's what jimmy's doing in south beach this week he's just, just on the beach yeah like and you, just, and you can Sipping do like margaritas. the margaritas yeah and you do the gronk call like when when brady came back when gronk you remember that or i guess brady did the gronk call to gronk right in that video yeah Isn't that what he did and they just do a honk where like maybe uh tyree kill put blast that and then you just see jimmy garoppolo baywatch style comes out of the, <laughs> uh, out of the atlantic ocean and he comes to save the dolphin season i don't know i just yeah i wanted that to happen jimmy garoppolo i don't know, I don't know about like say i don't know about save the dolphin season but <laughs> yeah well i mean he just has such a high floor jimmy garoppolo is the ultimate high floor guy Jimmy Garoppolo has never played in a bad in like a like a a non perfect offensive system. But I think the Dolphins have that. Like that would be Mike McDaniel with Jalen Waddle and Tyreek Hill. Their offensive Hill. line is not nearly as good. No, as, is not as the Forty ers or when he was on the Patriots. Like no, yeah. not even close. <laughs> It, well, it, it, that, that's why that it's going to go so great with the Raiders this year. Like Colton Miller right there and what they've got in front yeah. of him, it's going to be a delight. It's going to be it's going to be it's great. It's just Colton Miller. <laughs> it's it's they see they have the anti-Browns offensive line. They have mm. Colton Miller and everyone else. The Browns have everyone yeah. else and then Jed Wills. I would just wait. Alex Otherwood's right there. Like let's just give oh, it a yeah, little bit uh, longer. I, I'm sure the Raiders love every year when when april rolls around and it's like yay it's time for the nfl draft <laughs> and then they take cleland farrell and then they take tyree wilson who is now <laughs> not gonna play and alex leatherwood and john ross and who who are the ohio state corner oh they, um, um... <laughs> what is his name oh man that was a while ago he just no, popped up like, in the news again yeah did he aren't Ar- was it arnett Yes, Damon Arnett. Arnett. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just like the longest list of bad NFL draft picks. It's like, I think there was a whole draft that's already off the roster, and it's a pretty recent one, right? Like one of Mayock's drafts is already completely off the Raiders roster. 
like one of his drafts, literally there's not one player from that draft still in the Raiders. Wouldn't shock me. That's insane. There's a lot of Browns drafts like that too, though. So I can't, I can't say too much. Yeah. But I mean, the rate, I mean, they have, as, as far as first round picks go, they have a really bad track record. Yeah. So it's tough. Hard, hard to be like, people. <laughs>